Hi guys, welcome back to the next uh, video in the series. Um, still working on the sound dampening in the boot area. Uh, in previous videos we did the, uh, the passenger side, the floor pan and the driver's side. Um, since the last uh, update, uh, I've also finished this uh, under the parcel shelf area. Uh, it's come up quite nice. Still have a little bit left to do on this uh, beam. Um, so uh, I'm going to just swing around to the inside of the car now because uh, we're now getting to do the uh, sound deadening over here. Um, you know, between where the car and the, uh, the interface between the car and the boots. Because all of this wiring is connected, um, I really want to do as much dampening into the cabin area as I can so I don't have to pull up all that wiring at the back again. Um, so there's a few things uh, we need to sort of strip back a bit before we can continue the sound deadening into this part of the car. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get started on all of that and um, give you another update a little bit later. Cheers. Um, so I've got that beam pretty much covered up now. Um, it's looking really good. Uh, last two little sections to cut out, so I've got the template drawn up um, for these two sections. So what I tend to find it's easier to do is to cover all the uh, the majority of the areas that are you know don't have any cutouts, and then leave the cutouts and you know, trace and um, cut them out specifically, so we can fill in those gaps. So uh, two more pieces, and uh, pretty much that uh, beam is done. Hi guys, back for an update. Um, so we've basically got that underside of the parcel shelf now all dampened. Um, it came up okay. So uh, still got that little sill to do and this section of the, uh, of the rear boot near the latch area to do. So that's the next little task. Um, so I'll get started on that and I will be uh, right back. Uh, I'm going to start doing some work on this uh, rear um, boot area. Uh, so before I get started it's always good to refit the trim and just see how it's going to interact with the, uh, with the materials. Um, so in this case I've uh, put the trim back in place and rolled over the, uh, the rubber seam so it's sitting where it normally would. Uh, you can see here that the, the holes and the clips and everything are where they should be. Um, so straight away you can tell that this is pretty flush to the metal. So we're going to need to try to avoid those areas if we can. But if you see in here there's quite a big uh, void. So uh, plenty of room to put material in there. Um, and then on these edges here... Um, Clearly the trim's going to cover all of this, so you're pretty safe to cover that piece, but just staying away from the holes where the, um, uh, try on the other side, uh, these holes where the trim is going to clip in, you know, uh, obviously. So, um, alright, so I'm going to have a crack at that and uh, be back with you soon. Um, so, quick, quick run around. Uh, this is the passenger side. Um, that little tray, skins, uh, working up around the uh, parcel shelf, covering beam over to the driver's side, uh, wheel well, uh, battery, battery area, um, up in behind the indicators in here, and uh, down here along the um, uh, where the latch for the trunk goes, covered as much as I could without interfering with the trim and the mechanisms. So you know, it's probably a bit of overkill, uh, but you know, pretty much pretty much everything's covered, and um, that provides a you know a um, total skin to uh, dampen and block as much sound as we can. Uh, before we put the acoustic layer in, so having a quick look from the other side. Um, so this is the other side. Oh, the neighbour's got the whippersnipper going, sorry about that. 
So uh, roughly, uh, that's pretty close to three and a half, four days full-time work. And um, if you're interested, 39 sound dampening sheets. So uh, yeah, I haven't worked out how many kilos that adds, but um, anyway, the uh, springs on the back tires are down a little bit. So <laughs> there you go. Right, the, um, the next step is to get started on the acoustic liner. Um, so uh, I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.